factoring polynomials, which is greatest common monomial factor. The first type of factoring that you will encounter is factoring the greatest common monomial factor. For example, 12x cubed y to the fifth power minus 12x to the fifth power y square z. First is find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficient. The GCF of 12 and 20 is 4. Find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. So x and y are both common to all terms and 3 is the smallest exponent of x and 2 is the smallest exponent of y. Thus, x cubed and y squared is the GCF of the variables. The product of the greatest common factor in A and B is the GCF of the polynomial. Hence, 4x cubed y squared is the GCF of 12x cubed y to the fifth power minus 20x to the fifth power y square z. To completely factor the given monomial, given polynomial, divide the polynomial by its GCF. The resulting quotient is the other factor. Thus, factored form of 12x to the cube y to the fifth power minus 20 x to the fifth power y square z is 4x cubed y square times the quantity of 3y cubed minus 5x square z. Another example, 9x plus 45. So, 9 and 45, the GCF is 9. So, divide 9x to 9, we have x. And 45 divided by 9, we have 5. So, therefore, the, fra the factors of 9x plus 45 are 9x, 9 times the quantity of x plus 5. Another example, 7x squared minus 21x. So, as you can see, the coefficient, the GCF is 7. And the smallest exponent of x, the variable x, is 1. So, therefore, the GCF is 7x. Then, 7x squared divided by 7x, we have x. Then, the second term, negative 21x divided by 7x, we have negative 3. So, therefore, the, the factors of 7x squared minus 21x are 7x times the quantity of x minus 3. Third example, we have 18x to the 6th power minus 12x cubed. So, the GCF of the coefficient is 6 because both numbers can divide 6. And then the lowest exponent of the two variables is 3. So, therefore, the GCF is 6x cubed. And then, to get the other factors, we have 18x to the 6th power divided by, divided by 16 or 6x cubed. 6x cubed. Then, so, we have 3x cubed. And negative 12x cube divided by 6x cube, we have negative 2. So, therefore, the factors of 
18x to the 6th power minus 12x cubed or 6x cubed times the or 6x cubed and the quantity of 3x cubed minus 2. Another example, we have 15x cubed minus 25x squared plus 55x. So, all the numbers or the coefficient are divisible by 5. So, the GCF is 5. And then, looking at the exponent, so, the lowest is 1. So, we have the GCF as 5x. To get the other factors, we have 15x cubed divided by 5x, we have 3x squared. Using the loss of exponent, that's why we have x squared. Okay, so 3 minus 1, we have 2 as the exponent of x. And then negative 25 divided by 5 using the uh, property of integer. So we have negative 5. So negative 5x as the second term. And then 55x divided by 5x, we have positive 11. So therefore, the, pro the factors are 5x and 3x squared minus 5x plus 11. So thank you for listening.